Revelation 2434. From the 3rd of August 1942. Wisdom. Connecting the mind with the light, beings. Every human being can gain insight into the divine depth of wisdom if his spirit connects with the spiritual from the regions of light. No human being is deprived of receiving wisdom from God, since it corresponds to divine will that people become knowledgeable. Humanity's spiritual hardship is the result of its ignorance, for the soul's state is without light and darkness means torment for the spiritual. Admittedly, the human being does not feel this in earthly life because he pays more attention to his body and now endeavors to give it everything it desires. But the soul is unhappy as long as it does not stand in the light, that is his knowing. And man can remedy this lightless state if he seeks to attain knowledge. However, world knowledge by no means replaces spiritual knowledge. Worldly knowledge again only benefits the body, it brings him earthly fulfillment, for it increases earthly goods, reputation and fame and brings earthly success. Spiritual knowledge, however, is the wealth of the soul. Spiritual knowledge comes from God and leads to God. Spiritual knowledge is part of eternity and is imperishable. God's will is to guide everything that has fallen away from him back to himself. Consequently, he also wants the spiritual to be brought to the light, to be redeemed from its lightless, ignorant state and guided into deepest knowledge. But wisdom is only with God, and thus the human being has to accept it from God, he has to be willing to penetrate the deepest depths of divine wisdom, and he also has to make himself worthy to receive wisdom from God, he has to strive towards the height, towards the light. In the kingdom of light every desire for truth is palpable, and the beings of light are immediately willing to distribute it, because this task is set for them in the beyond and they fulfill it full of joy and devotion. The human being sends his spirit upwards, the beings of light instruct him according to his desire, and the spirit in the human being returns to earth again with the richest gift and he is now also prepared to impart this gift to the soul, that is he must now in turn try to impart the received knowledge to the soul and now motivate it to listen within and pay attention to the thoughts which now come to it as if from within. And every person can do this, he need only want to become knowledgeable and desire pure truth, then God's will will be revealed to him and if he tries to shape himself in accordance with this divine will his thinking will also correspond to truth, for God sees the human being's will and, depending on this will, deems him worthy of being guided into wisdom. And people's spiritual state could be more enlightened if they had the desire for truth within themselves. But they are far more comfortable with ignorance, with the darkness of spirit and only a few desire to stand in the light and in the truth. Knowledge is light, but the light only shines where it is ignited in free will, for the beings of light are also subject to divine will, and they only share the truth where God's will is respected. And thus the truth can also only be there. Amen.